Hello and welcome back. This is Double of Debbie. And this is episode 22 of my Alpha 17 Experimental 7 Days. Uh, let's play. <laughs> uh, this is uh, pretty much just a, a minute or two after the end of the last video. Um, but I think I got all of them taken care of. Look at that. They were able to get through there. Um, I thought for sure that they wouldn't. I can't get through there. Only if I'm crouching. So, I can get out though. Just can't get back in. So, that's interesting um, that they were able to only break one block and get in there. Just uh, this one right there. So definitely something to think about, um, that they can squeeze through there. Uh, it might be beneficial to, yeah, carry on this. Because, like I said, look, they didn't damage hardly any of this corner. Uh, well, actually, yeah, they did. Because they, I don't know they didn't because I didn't upgrade those. These are, I think, all from explosions. So they went through, they busted that one block, and they were able to go through. So they definitely sought out the weak points. Uh, they knew if they destroyed that one block, they could get in. I still don't see how they can get in, but they did. Maybe if they, you know, crouched. Yeah, but I don't see. Yeah, very little damage to the corners. Um, mostly it was on this side. Uh, that was the side that they were coming from, but yeah. <laughs> A lot of the damage was done to this uh, outside wall. Um, they got through over there. This block was destroyed. Very little of the cement was damaged besides that one. Once they destroyed that, they weren't really um, damaging much. They just kept running in and out. So, yeah. Uh, most of the damage was done to these outer walls over here. Lots of explosions in here from the cops. Uh, doing a little bit of damage to everything. Um... I think we actually had most of our cop explosions out here. You see on all those fences. A couple were over here. So yeah, that fence is gone, but I think that was mainly, I mean, not the fence, the ladder is gone. That was mainly, I think, from cop explosions. So uh, yeah, I think that would be good to upgrade those um, to the iron. This one didn't get damaged, but this one didn't have explosions on this side. Um, we saw them do a lot of running back and forth here, especially once they got these openings. They were trying to decide whether they wanted to go this way to get to me or this way. And as I was moving, they just kept pathing back and forth. So I think it might be beneficial to like place um, traps along here, at least to slow them down. Uh, maybe too wide in case they, you know, go on the edge or something. Uh, and and I'm talking the uh, the barbed wire fence, not the spike traps. Don't know if I was clear about that, but yeah, the main idea is to slow them down so I can I can kill them. <laughs> yes. um, yeah, I made three levels off, off that, uh, but I I killed I killed most of them. Some of them did die on the traps. Uh, they definitely cleared away these traps and these traps. Couldn't get them over to that corner very much. They mostly wanted to stay around here where it was, um, where it was open, where the opening was to 
to try and get to me. Uh, and then most of the time they were in there just running around. Yeah, so we got a little bit of work to do uh, to get those cleaned. I never did once fire my Molotov cocktail. Uh, oh, I never went to the other ammos. I completely forgot about those. In one of the bags, it looks like we got a hunting rifle and a military helmet. One of them had 11 gold or 11 dukes. Uh, I did get a couple of bags that were out after I got them all killed. One had seven water bottles and one had one vitamin. So not very good loot. I don't think it's, it's definitely not worth jumping down into the fray uh, to get those. So yeah, <laughs> good times. Uh, we jacked up that marksman rifle. Look at it. It's going to take like two or three just to repair it up. But we did do most of our damage with this guy. So definitely well worth it. Oh, that one repaired it all the way to full. Nice. Um, we ran out of Oh, the over 200 bullets we had for our SMG. Of course, I was just opening up with it because it was, it's so hard to, to target them when they're running around. I just figured I'd... I'd send it. I would send it. Okay, so... Let's put this in the ammo box. Uh, and put all our ammos and our good little toys away and start getting our <laughs> repair tools out. Um, uh, once we recover and get some more ammo, I'm thinking I might swap this out for my compound bow because we have a silencer. It does decrease the damage though, so I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, so yeah, let's put our vitamin in here. Put away our painkillers and our med kits. Um, didn't, I didn't use, I figured shooting would take away some of the hunger, but I, I didn't see very much stamina loss at all from the shooting of the marksman rifle. So that's interesting. Um, very interesting. It's good because uh, that that's my weapon of choice. <laughs> I prefer the marksman rifle over anything else. That's just my play style though. Level two hunting rifle that's uh, pretty good on its durability. I don't know what we're gonna do with all these guns because we can't really sell that many to the merchant. Uh, He's not, like, resetting, I don't think. Uh, all right, let's get our tools out. We did get another quest, but I'm afraid to take it until we do that other one. But I think it should... No, let's go ahead and pop it. I think it'll be okay. Because I think we can have multiples of this. Kill zombie cheerleaders? Oh no, that means uh, give me a Z <laughs> for Z for zombies. Oh man, that's funny. Um, we got a little bit of coins. Um, actually, I want to put these repair kits back. Those are downstairs. We'll wait for that. Um, we got a bunch of arrows. Uh, we're probably. I wonder if we can smelt these back down and get some some metal back out of them and switch to steel arrows. Because now we can start making steel arrows. Because last episode we got the crucible, or was it the one before? I think it was the one before. Anyway, let's put this food and drink up. How are we doing on our thirst? We didn't use much food. I didn't eat any food. We're not doing too bad, but I'll go ahead and drink one of these yucca juices to fill us up. So 
So we didn't use hardly any food or drink during that time. It's very interesting. <sighs> Man. Okay, so uh, for the most part, this went a lot better uh, than the last one. Yeah, they were running around, but... Um, And they got into the base, but they didn't dig down. Uh, mainly because, <laughs> yeah, I moved my bed up here. So if I did die, I would respawn up and they wouldn't be able to dig down easily. Looks like up is a bit harder for them to deal with than uh, down. Down is a lot easier for them to go. So that might be something to think about in, you know, if I have to start over, uh, I might not build down. I might build up instead of down uh, to start off with knowing that um, it's easier to deal with them uh, from above than it is from below and then just have the dig the below out when I need resources and it's a safe once I get the, the cage built around it um, can get a but First things first, we need to make like, I think we can do um, a pole down here. I think that's for me shooting, not from the zombies trying to go down. Cause I opened up. Um, I wanna make, a wet concrete pole. There it is. Okay, I should have just done that. Because we did get one block destroyed. Uh, so I want to get that up there so that area is secure. Because zombies will make a beeline for that. Uh, so uh, let's copy the rotation. Place it. There we go. Uh, shore up our defenses here. So we'll definitely want to get those crossbars. Um, I think that should be a priority to at least get them. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight per side. So that'd be 32. I don't think, we, yeah, we have enough. Uh, oh, look at that. We got a... Uh, ladder destroyed and again that could be from me firing but uh they were down here in our base um there we go um let's go make 32 of those bars to at least get a gap uh fill in those gaps uh, we'll where am I going? I don't know. So let's make uh, 32 of these poles. And that way um, they won't come through. And um, you know what? That's going to take a long time to get to a thousand like that. go ahead and get another uh, another batch of stone smelting more concrete because uh, we'll have we have the 2,000 stone and I think we have a thousand sand and that will get us even more upgrades um, Cause yeah, I don't want just the two. I'd definitely like to go at least three above. So if they they do stand on each other's heads, they can't hop up and get on top of that. Uh, Cause that's not. So this is five thousand. Oh wow, it's definitely worth upgrading to that reinforced. Cause that doubles it. So yeah, we want to cover these holes and then eventually we'll go over these, these holes here because they'll uh, probably concentrate their fire on those after we fill in those. But mainly, um, 
what I want to do, the placement of those is to keep them from being able to bust in. Uh, like, if they destroy one of these blocks, it's going to be okay because they won't be able to get in. But on these poles, they can. Which is not very desirable at all. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's start trying to repair some of these blocks. Uh, start in here. go um maybe get these blocks since they're not going to be doubled up on so that'll be a weak point uh we'll probably want to upgrade these um to the reinforced concrete okay it looks like this corner whole corner was like completely untouched except for that one <laughs> and this corner completely untouched oh that one got a little bit on the outside I think from an explosion probably so let's go ahead and uh, tear up this corner this corner looks like um, it saw the most action. This is where they, once they broke through, they were coming in all over the place. They weren't, they weren't going anywhere else. So, um, you know, that's so interesting because you could, you could totally, uh, build traps for them like that make a weak point in your base and then have it to where if they do get in boom there's a there's a trap right there waiting for them interesting it's really interesting to see how they're pathing and and to build this stuff around them uh just based on their behavior of what they do like i really want to um i really thought uh those fence would be a good idea and i think they were um i think that this could have gone a lot worse had i not put those fences up um because it did keep them running around okay i think we did everything in here so let's go down and see if our um our coals are ready yes they are so let's get those up there um we'll, we'll want to get the thousand sand out we'll go on the outside to do this it'll probably be a little bit easier let's repair these ladders um my main goal here okay, let's repair that is gonna be to um we're gonna have to repair these to pick them up so let's go ahead and do that while we we have the stuff and things Bonus. Okay, I think that was it. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Dang it. And I can't pick it up once I do that, so I just want to just pick it up and place that back down. Alright, let's get down there. Uh, most of the most of the traps are gonna be cleared. Um, all right, let's match the facing and do this side. And we're only going to do the two. 
And this is just so um, they can't bust one block and get in. Uh, so they're going to have to... It's really interesting that they go for that. They go for the weak spots. Um, I think that's kind of cool. Like, it, it's... It's not really... Making them smart. I don't think... I don't think that type of behavior is um intelligence i think it's just common sense it's sort of like a wisdom i don't think it's something that uh oh crap i think i'd be better off placing them over there from a distance actually i can't can't uh Gonna have to knock these guys. Whoa! Oh, I did. That one was like at full health. That was a power attack and it didn't kill it. I guess they gotta be damaged to power attack it. So, yeah, I couldn't place them there because of those spike traps. I mean, the barbed wire fence. Um. A lot of these blocks are just damaged a tiny bit. Let's go ahead and get these because we can't get them from the outside. I mean the inside. Ugh. Get my ins and outs all mixed up. And we can't really see these very well either. Good, 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 good. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, Prepare a little. Get our little oh, get our cement at least. Uh, we're no, we don't have much, but we might as well use up what we got repairing the stuff and things. Yeah, I didn't see that from the inside. It's a little bit, I guess it's a little bit tougher. Let's just work on this one side, one side at a time. We'll get it off. We'll get all the stuff and things. Well, it held up a lot better. I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to get the full. Yeah, when I, when I want to get the block underneath, I can't. No, I didn't want to do that. See, most of the time I can, you know, I can get it, but now, I, now for some reason I can't even touch it. Okay, so let's get this side. This side is completely intact, so we're going to have to... I could never get them over here once they made that hole. They would not path over here. They would go in on the inside to try to get to me rather than come around the corner. So that was interesting. Once they get a hole in there, you're making a beeline for it to get to you. There we go. Let's go ahead and do coffee facing. There we go. Oh, we need to go this way to get it, I think. Awesome. Oh, those are completely intact. Let's go. Oh, not not completely. There we go. So we're gonna have to destroy these. Uh, so I'm wondering if I put these up here, are they even gonna get in the traps? Um, what we'll to see. Hopefully we'll get like some wandering hordes come. We'll have to see how they deal with them. Because I'm wondering if leaving this gap close to it because we're placing these reinforcements on the outside. If that's going to affect how they path. Will they go 
Will they travel on the inside here or in the rush? Are they going to just get on that barbed wire anyway? Uh, so, yeah, now we're going to have to... These, these really did, um, did a job distracting them, I think. They served their purpose. Uh, they spent a lot of time going through these. Let's get those pillars upgraded. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of damage on this side. No explosions, not hardly any. Just a little bit, I think, here. A lot of damage to that block. I think we, this will be like uh, the last part of the explosions on the concrete. I think that one took damage. Let's go ahead and destroy this so we can uh, grab that. Let me just place it back. It's just wood. Get some more there. Oh no, we're out of the concrete already. Look, these are already starting to dry. Yeah, definitely want the third block up there. Oh wow, I didn't see that those had taken damage. I guess that's from the explosions as well. We're out of concrete, so we can't get any more of that. So um, let's go ahead and finish off these walls here. <laughs> I leveled up preparing. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, let's repair these little bars. We're going to have to make some more of these. Um, but I think we can do that in our inventory. Yeah, here we go. Let's make like 20 of them or something. I know we got quite a bit of them gone on one side. Um, uh, these are all explosion damage. We're, just, we're not going to upgrade them. Uh, just because they didn't seem to beat on them too much until they at least got these lower ones down. Yeah, even then, you know, this is the worst one. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't... They didn't do a lot. I'm really surprised at how well those distractions worked to keep them busy. Um, although they did get into the base. Uh, let's see. There we go. Pair those guys up. Ooh. Okay, that one's not missing one, so let's get our wood frames back and fill this in. Yeah, those were all upgraded too. Okay. We also had uh, quite a bit of fence damage done. Um, they actually uh, targeted some of the fence. Oh, crap. I don't want none of her crap right now. Uh, let's turn off our headlight. Cause it's the middle of the day. I forgot I had it on. Sounds like she might be coming from that. What I want to do is get up. Oh my god, where is she? Oh, there she is. She screamed. Um, oh 
hopefully there were um it looks like we got off easy there weren't any barrels let's just go down uh actually let's go on the outside I don't want to accidentally set up one of my landmines. Yeah. That took four. That zombie's fighting. Oh, how am I missing? Where is he? Oh, there she is. Yeah, those don't do a lot of damage. I don't think it's worth... I, I think my bullets are worth more than uh, the eight gunpowder. I mean, that's two bullets. I think there's more. I thought I saw some arrows over here. Is there a horde somewhere? Thanks, sure is. Okay, it looks like they're. Well, this guy went. went around. But the other guys. Choppy choppy. Hey, I really like the machete. The machete. You down, bro? Okay, well, it looks like some of them did path through, but some of them didn't, so that was interesting. So where were we? <laughs> Repairing the stuff and things. Looks like we got up there. That's probably from an explosion. Ugh, ugh. Um... Yeah, I think we were working on this side when all hell broke loose. And uh, we may need to go just... Yeah, they destroyed these. I think that was the spider monkey did that. Oh, we got a ladder missing here. Yeah, I definitely need to... Can upgrade those once I get this stuff anyway. All right, I think, um, I think that's good. Oh, we want to go grab our fence and uh, put those back up so that those will be choke points again. And they'll have to decide they won't get in this area. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, 
it, it looks like they only went around this way once a zombie had broken through this. Uh, then they started spazzing out. <laughs> There were, there was a hole over here they broke through. I think we had like an explosion and it may have appeared. Uh, the door didn't get hurt. Yeah, there's too many blocks over here that were damaged for it to not be an explosion. Didn't look like any of the ground, but all of the place blocks. That's fine. I'm okay with that. But for the most part, I think uh, it stood up pretty well. The more traps we get, uh, the harder it is for them to get to us. Uh, so you know, we got some more. We're definitely going to need to get the fence out here and replace. Oh, nerds some of those. I thought it went pretty darn good. We need more cement for our uh, repairs. See, they even couldn't be bothered to finish breaking off that block because they could just walk over. So why break it when you can walk over? Oh, look. They had actually damaged that door. I don't think that was from a, an explosion. That was a lot of damage. Uh, place. Looks like maybe that block is damaged a little bit. Can I get on it? It's that one. Okay. Sometimes they got like these little spots right here that makes me think it's damaged, but it's not. <laughs> um. All right, so we've been repairing away madly uh, this episode. I think we have plenty of fence. I don't think we need any more wooden bars. We can go patch up those holes. We probably need to make some more spikes. I don't know, let's do like 50. It's a thousand wood, we got it. No problem. Let's go ahead and make some more wood frames because I only have 11 and that's, uh, that's too little. <sighs> so, <laughs> oh my gosh, this has been uh, a crazy, okay, that's the one we want open. No! I hate misplacing these blocks. Okay, so did we get the, we got this hole that we have here, and we'll want to place that there, and that there. That's awesome. So everything looks like um, yeah, it's easier to place from the other side. And you can just look at the bottom block uh, to place it. There we go. Um. That's it. Isn't it? Oh no, got this one right here. And that's it. Except. <laughs> I need to get this arrow. There we go. That's it. You know, they really haven't been destroying very many of these. Look, they did make one here. But this was like the main side that they came from. And they got a couple destroyed here. That's, that's what's nice about it, I guess. Once they make a hole, they no longer are damaging any of the others. Um, but they're still being funneled, uh, so that's good. 
Um, we are going to need a few of those barbed wire fences. So let's, let's maybe make 10 and see if that's enough uh, to deal with what, what we have to deal with. So yeah, I'm really liking this base. I know it's, oh, got the door bug. Hopefully, luckily we didn't get stuck. I had that several times in Alpha 16 uh, where I got stuck in a door. Let's repair you. Actually, let's go ahead and put the wire bits down here so we don't have to do that. Um, it might be easier to repair those from the inside. Oh no, looks like we got them. They didn't even go towards the middle here. We can probably forget about that corner. Yeah, because look. Uh, they didn't even uh, hardly damage these other ones. There we go. And one, two, three. A little bit of lag there while I'm placing the block. Kind of weird. Uh, yeah, there's one destroyed over here. Looks like those are good. Oh, no, it's not destroyed. But they are pretty jacked. That's because this is the side that that roaming horde came in on. Uh, generally, it does more damage uh, when the horde comes in because they're all together than like the horde knight because they're kind of trickling in steadily uh, over a long period of time versus, you know, spawning all at once and just going at it. Some of these actually got damaged. Wow, that's weird. Uh, this looks mostly intact. Excellent. Uh, they didn't. This is like the furthest side from where they all came in at. So that one's damaged. There we go. That's dirt. See, that's weird how I can target that one, uh, the ground underneath, but I can't get that concrete block that's in there. Probably going to have to wind up destroying those traps just to upgrade. <laughs> once once I actually get the concrete, that is, uh, yeah, all of those look good. And I think this is where we started, wasn't it? Obviously not. No, I think it was the other corner. The one where the brunt of the the horde came in. I think all in all, this is a pretty solid base as a concept. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a design, but we actually had two destroyed there. Any others? No. Let's go ahead and repair these up. Again, I think that was from another wandering horde. And this is the side that we started on. So yeah, okay, so now we'll we'll go work on our inner. Uh, actually, let's not until we get our repair work done. That would be the smart thing to do. <laughs> um, how do you get damaged? All the way up there. Maybe from a straight shot or something, I don't know. Maybe from that vulture. Uh, 
shooting its breath. Sometimes they they have the ability to to belch like the 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 cops. All right. Uh, I don't have the metal for that. All right, let's go check our cement. Because we we definitely need that. Um, I don't think there's any more we can repair with the wood. There's our jar jars. Um, yeah. I hear a burning guy. Uh, actually, we're done with the fence, too. We're looking for concrete. There we go. Uh, looks like we could make like 700. Why can't I make the cement? Oh, because it's not on. Oh no, now I've missed my whole count up. That's horrible. Oh, it makes me want to cry. Do we have any more? No. Oh, we do have a little bit up here that we had. We can do some of the upgrades. Uh, let's go ahead and get up here and get that thousand sand. Just do a little wiggle dance on the ladders to get up there. That's what I found. Oh, I forgot. That goes there. Uh, so we can put our fence away. Oh, an airdrop! I wonder how far away that's going to be. Might need to, uh, that's not far at all. Look, that, uh, that quest is pretty close. What is this? Oh, that's where the a hardware, I saw a hardware store, so I marked it on the map so I could go back. Um... Oh, and there's the other quest. So both of those quests are pretty close. Um, I'm just wondering, do I even want to... I don't, I don't think we need to get the motorcycle out for that. It's so close. And there's Bernie McBurnison. Yeah, I, I much prefer this machete over the hammer. Just because it's, it's a little bit less reliant on so much stamina to do the damage. Uh, it's more about speed and mobility, getting out of... Because you can't really move a lot when you're swinging that big hammer. I guess this was would be the reason why you need the motorcycle. So you don't have to run. And I love that motorcycle. Oh man. I've been telling my family about it. Oh, oh my god, the motorcycle is so cool. It's got those spikes on the front. It does the whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I mean, it's so great. I, I'm, I'm really surprised that... Uh, you know, I didn't get on it yesterday. Ooh, not the first step. I don't know why I, I need these. I got plenty of food. Uh, we're not as reliant on eggs, and we got tons of feathers. Uh, we're pretty much... Look at all these rocks around here. Maybe we might want to swing our pick at them on the way back. Because uh, that 2,000 stone is gone. It's gone. It's gone already. It just doesn't know it. Oh, there's our drop. 
because we can definitely use the iron and the stone. What? We got a quest? Awesome. That'll do pig challenge. Oh, I wonder if that's going to have me kill those uh, evil pigs. Uh, I'm sorry. I definitely I need this metal. And we can kill one rock. Oh, and I also... I, I think I mentioned it. I did spend a point in the middle of the night. The other night to... Uh, I increased... Because I knew I was going to... Um, do a lot of gathering. I put a point into the mother load. Uh, because it didn't require me to put any more points in there. I had it available. Like, why do I not have this? <laughs> so, yeah, that's increasing our drops, which is good. Because we need all the stuff and things. So maybe we'll just head back to the house. Uh, mining as we go. There we go. Or maybe we should run back and try to go to those uh, little side quests that we've got. Um, oh, a bunny wabbit. I, I really don't like... They, they're worth so little meat. And they run away from you. I don't like chasing them. I don't find that enjoyable at all. <laughs> but it is 12 o'clock and I think if we get on our motorcycle and ride we can get to both of those so maybe we won't do this we had a rough rough night <laughs> uh, the, it seems like the first horde ended at midnight but these others are continuing on maybe that's based on your game stage I don't know, maybe the, the higher your game stage, the longer the Horde Knight lasts. That would be interesting. Um, yeah, and we were really close to that one. So yeah, let's just go get on, uh, get on our hog, which is over here. We'll go have a, a, a look at those other side quests. Because I think those get turned in at the trader when you finish them. I don't know. But let's go get bikey. Uh, we'll go deal with it. Hopefully. Uh, well, actually, I didn't even check my armor before the horde, which is surprising. Uh... They're kind of looking a little worse for wear. We probably could up, um, repair that military vest and these leather boots. I'd like to get uh, get the military boots, but I just haven't I haven't found any, and I can't make them yet until I think you can't make them until like level 100 uh, because that's locked behind the smith. Uh, the hammer and forge. Oh no, it may be 80. It's 80, I think. You gotta be level 80. Oh, uh, well, also looks like we need a little bit of food. Um, let's go ahead and grab just a normal bandage. Take a little bit of damage. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and throw this stuff in there. Got any, uh, yeah, we got a little bit of ammo. Oh, we got paper and feathers that can go in there. And um, then we need to check the first aid. Put this stuff in there. Here, we can put that in there. I'm scared of that one. <laughs> I think it's just to kill some pigs, but I'm curious 
it it's probably gonna have us like go to a waypoint like the other ones do and if so is there gonna be like the giant monster pigs lying in wait for us um i don't know um eggs there Look at all that yuck that we have. It only stacks to 50. I don't know why that only stacks to 50. These stack over 50. Why do these crops stack over 50 and those are like the only one? That's weird. I did use up a stack of meat making 25 meat stew. I figured I had the meat. I might as well go ahead and use it. Even though I said that the meat stew isn't as good as the bacon and eggs, it's just that we have, oh, we don't have a whole lot of eggs, even though I'm still picking them up. Um, do, 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 do. We have a one to keep that. Let's just put that in here for now. Grab our motorcycle. I don't, I don't think we'll have very much loot. Take some fuel with us. Okay. Um, so I think the one to the south is... Well, they both look about the same. And it looks like if we just follow the road down, we can get really close. So let's just go for a ride. <laughs> Check it out. I think we can get over there plenty of time, even though it's 13 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and fill her up to 120. Um, let's try to get on the road. It's just much easier go by road. Oh, this road curves the wrong way. So we'll go a little ways off-road. <laughs> we can run over those little tiny cactuses can cause us to, you know, have problems. That's kind of weird. Oh, this motorcycle is so amazing. I love it. You can hear it changing gears and everything. You can open it up once you get on the road. Um, is this the road we need to turn on? Yeah. Let's turn on the road so we don't have to go through the water. Give it some gas. And we turn here. I heard it update. Is it over here? I see it. I see it's up. It's on top of this place. Let's grab that gas barrel. Uh, we might want to, I guess, clear this place. I mean, I oh, yeah. out the hard way. Okay, don't be a stinking idiot. Come on out. One at a time, please. Oh, whoa, whoa. Is she a barrel? Yeah, she was. Uh, she was being worried. Oh, no touching. Okay, just take a breath. That's all you gotta do when you hit a couple of times, just take a step back and start over. I 
I think I woke something up nearby. Oh, there he is. It's gonna explode that car. I just know it. Oh, it's nothing like a little arrow to the face to get you going. Oh my God. I didn't, that did not kill her. Oh, I hit the car. I bet I, I wonder if I can explode the car. Hit the, I must have hit the wood. Oh, here she comes. Let's just go smack her around. Come over here so I can smack you around and give me my arrow. Whoa! I did not want to do that. I was trying to loot my arrow. I have one in. I was trying to loot her arrow and I accidentally hit the car instead. Or looted the car. Did I get that? A bit laggy. All right, let's go ahead and come in here and loot things up in case something happens. Two wrenches. I think I, oh, this is a jail. Which quest is this? Uh, does it, if I hover over it, does it say? No, let's look at the quest. Give me a Z. Oh, this is the one with the cheerleaders. Let's go ahead and unlock this door. Okay, looks like uh, that's it. There's... Is there not like a second story? There's a window up there. No. I don't know. I'm gonna take my motorcycle off of the hot bar. Just so I don't accidentally cycle through it. It messes me up. Is there anything up here? Like, why is the quest marker up here? That doesn't make any sense. What are you? You stone? Yeah, that's stone. It's just weird that it has such a tall thing. Is it empty inside? I don't know. Let's just do the thing with the thing. Okay, there's our cheerleaders. Talk to the trader. Yeah, we only had to kill three of them, but they, I guess they send five. And I saw a backpack over here. Oh, fuck. Awesome. Bird's nest. Um, well, that's it. That's it for that one. Let's go ahead and, uh... How do you do that? Uh, no, I want to make that one active. There we go. So let's get our motorcycle out and head to that other one. No. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's the small cactus. Can't get over our motorcycle with the spikes on the front. Um, yeah, we 
we need to go the other way. We need to go to the west. Oh no, I hope we don't wake up the bears. Okay, yeah, let's keep going west until we get to the main road. North. Here's the funky water. Yeah, they should have raised that road up to the level of the water. Open her up a bit. Oh, this is. I love the motorcycle. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so... Yeah, that's it right up there. So we might want to go down this road. Not as nice as the other road, but... You can still scoot along, so that's good. We went through that one yet? That POI back there, I don't know. Um, and we can just keep heading this direction. There is a part in the road. I'm just going to have to run by it. Oh, I love, I love that sound. That is awesome. There's a little cave over there. but Alright, we'll just keep going. There's some type of building here. It's just a house. couple of POIs here. Look, that one's still coming in. Alright, let's open her up. No time for you. We got quests. Oh. Are we on a road? Oh! Sorry, tree. <gasps> scary to take the motorcycle into the forest. Oh yeah, we're close. Alright, let's do the same thing. Where's our little marker? Over here. Uh, now this one is to... I don't know, to kill some female zombies. Oh, that's way more than three. And we only got to kill four. All right, let's start off with you. We don't have to stay in the area, which is good. I don't, I don't like being restricted to, you know, a certain area. We're going to kill all of these guys because why not? You know, uh, I really like this machine. You want to go more, uh, like, make this thing go as fast as possible. Uh, I didn't even eat before I left. Why is I... I'm just being silly, I guess. Well, that was it. Now we gotta talk to the trader. We got plenty of time, so awesome. We got those two quests done. Um, there we go. Oh yeah. And we still have a buried treasure that we can go get. And I don't know that I know it would be nice to be able to narrow down that field, but it's not necessary. And if there's like some type of level cap, 
and my points are limited, I can think of much better way, places to put my points than to, um, to spend them on narrowing down the treasure. looks like the tire spinning but it sort of doesn't the back tire um, <laughs> it's weird I'm like staring at it now let's cut across It'll try not to damage or bite too much Wow, look at all these stones. Where did they come from? I thought I gathered them all. Um, I'm going to hop off of the motorcycle over here. Because I don't want to have to log off and log back in again. And I'm going to take it completely off my hotbar before I go to the trader. I don't know if it's the trader that bugged it last time or... It was just random. Do we have any food on us? No. Just some gasoline. Can drink the gasoline, right? Okay, so let's get to the trader, turn in our quest. It might we got a few points, I think. What if we put a point into the daring adventurer? I don't really know what the additional choices are going to do. Uh, oh, that one's nice. You can choose two quest rewards, but man, that's a lot of points too. I think I would rather spend my point in the better barter than put it into the daring adventure. So I just, um, you get the rewards, then what are you going to do with them? Well, another thing is, is that I, I don't know if this is supposed to work like that or if the, the traders actually reset uh, what they're supposed to buy. Because I haven't seen that they do, at least not like on guns. And you can only sell like two You're bringing counterfeit so. money in here. Congratulations. This Here's one's just reward, some dudes. Sucker. And some more dukes. How about, um... Uh, he's gonna reset on day 25. And it's day 22. So he must have just reset. Nothing interesting so far. It's got like 10 gunpowder. Like I said, I think these magazines are going to be quite useful once you hit, uh, get higher level and hit level cap. Uh, he's got 63 more ammo. Mm. Although it might be nice I don't know, he's got a generator bank, some dart traps, we could play with those. I don't know if we can actually make them or if we have the stuff to make them. Do we even have the skill to make them yet? That would determine their worth a little bit better. Let's see, generator. Looks like we can, we do have the recipe. It's forged iron mechanical parts and electrical parts. So we can make them, but we need to get loot more cars because we're really low on mechanical parts. Uh, so that's interesting. What about the dart trap? We can make the dart trap too, again with the mechanical parts. So we might spend next episode just 
just going out and looting the crap out of some cars. Maybe we'll make a good wrench. I wonder if I could put that, um, that mod that we got. Would be nice if he had some, uh, some mods. Uh, that might be worth putting points into better barter just to I think that opens up his um, secret stash and and has better items available and more items available in a secret stash let's look uh, because if we could buy mods from him that would be awesome uh, I think that would be worth putting points into yeah the better deal buying and selling items, which I don't think is quite as important as that secret stash. And we already have the points in it. So I think that might be worth putting points into. And I don't think that will uh, affect him now. Maybe only once he resets. So we can go back over there and look. Let's get all the points that we can in that. So we can't get that until level 100. But I think um, let's go take our cash and go back over there. Uh, wow. And so, wow, we, we don't have a lot. That's right, because I spent it all. I spent it all. Um, <laughs> buying ammo uh, let's go ahead and use the bandage just the normal one because we're a little bit down all right let's we got time let's go look because uh, I'm curious does it reset him when I upgrade that will he have better loot now or do I have to wait till day 25 um if so, we'll come back at day 25. What's that, bud? Did you update? Okay, Bunker. You respect the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. Oh, yeah, he's got tons more stuff now. Look, he always oh, got a chain straw. And uh, some ammo. Look at that. Oh. A solar cell auto turret. Oh my Germany. Oh my Germany Christmas. Um, he's got steel stuff. Level 5. Wow. Um, that is pretty cool. See, I'm curious to know. Do I need to rent one of those vending machines outside to sell some of these extra weapons? Would that work? But you have to rent them, and it's like 2,500 coins or something. So we have to amass a fortune before we can go and rent that to, to make a fortune. I don't know, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't want to sell you my motorcycle. Oh. 53 coins for all of that? I don't think so. I don't think there's really anything I have that I want to sell uh, besides those uh, guns, which I would, now that I know that he's so limited on his, um, what he will buy, uh, we definitely want to make sure we repair those and get as much money as we can for each and every sell. Ooh, that went down from 39 to 35. Uh, that's cool. The gunpowder went from 62 to 56. He's only got 10 though, so. Still has the generator bank and the dart traps. Oh, hop seed. Gotta make some beer. But he doesn't have the book. We need to like get the book in order to make. Do we? 
I think you have to get the book to make the beer. I'm pretty sure that's how it still works. Um, let's see. I'm gonna push the wrong button. Beer. Beer, yeah, it's in the chemistry station. Oh, look at that, you get fist melee damage and 50% stamina gain. You get stamina back from drinking beer and that's a lot. Oh my God, that might be worth getting and drinking just to like you drink some and then mine a little bit. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. <laughs> We might want to go ahead and buy those uh, hops from him because uh, who knows when we could see him again. Is it? No, I think it's under resources. 630. Maybe we'll just buy one. <laughs> we'll buy one and procreate our own. A sale is a sale, even if it's to us. Yeah, that's true. All right, it's 18 o'clock. We got our, we got our hop seed. Um, we don't really have a place to to put it, but if I was gonna say, if I was gonna guess and say which crop that I would get rid of first, it would definitely, I think, be the yucca, since it doesn't stack very high. Um, and it takes like two to make a drink. So what I might do is make up a bunch of yucca juice, use up a whole crap ton, and then once I get uh, my storage full for it, um, we'll swap over to the hops. Look at that. Hop seed. Who knew that that would even be better than coffee? I wonder... Is it still just like a short buff? I think it is. So yeah, let's put this stuff and things away. Eggs away. Um, got a couple of barrels of gas out of that, which was nice. Oh, put that pipe away. Um, we got to put our dupes away. I'm scared to go look at that piggy one. Um, I'm tempted to see how much metal we get out of these if we melt these down. Because look, we got all these freaking wrenches and we can make more. We could make a better one. What does it take to make a wrench? Is it still just mechanical parts and steel? 12 steel and 4 mechanical parts. So we might do that. Um, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time. I hear, I hear Bernie McBurnison. So let's take care of him. Hello, welcome to the neighborhood. Nice to have you stop by. Drop by. <laughs> All right, let's go get 12 steel and hopefully we'll have four mechanical parts. We'll make us a nice wrench and we'll actually, um, let's make sure we have the mechanical parts. Where we get the steel? Let's go ahead and at least take all these ones down there with us. Maybe we'll keep the twos and they're not really worth anything. Maybe we'll just take them all. Um, no, we'll leave one. That'll be our backup wrench in case we lose uh, the good one. Uh, so it takes 12 steel um, to make a wrench, which is 20 iron. So if we can get that 20 
No, that would be, so that'd be 240 out of these wrenches. If we could get that. How long is it gonna take? Four minutes? Holy cow, so we got 28.86. Oh, we don't have four minutes to sit there and wait. I think um, whoever it was. Oh, there's a whole horde. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. Let's go out and deal with them before they get in. Before it gets dark and they start running. Oh yeah, give me that experience. I like being able to still take a pause and sprint back and not have to worry about, oh my god, am I going to have enough to swing? Oh yeah, look at all that experience racking up. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. Yeah, look, we're almost the level again. That's awesome. Um, boinky doink. All right, uh, let's go back down and get our our steel smelting. While we're waiting to see how much that is, so it's at twenty eight hundred. Still hasn't gone off, so let's go ahead and make our 12 forged steel. It's at 2646 now, so let's see. We've got a minute left. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so what did we say? It was 12 times 20, so it'd be 2400. So, oh, if we got 20. No, 12, it'd be 240, I'm sorry. That's still worth it, I guess. 240, so it'd be 480. Should put it over 3,000. Oh yeah, if that melts down that much, that would be awesome if we could get it the full amount from the, the damage tools. So let's wait a few more seconds to find out and then we'll go make a really good wrench after we put two more of those in. I don't know, I don't know how much it's gonna give us back. So we'll see. Oh, so it does give you the 240. That is definitely worth it. Excellent. So we'll, uh, I think it took like four minutes. We'll let that melt down. We'll come back, put some, two more of them in. And we'll have enough for another stretch of our iron bars. Yeah. Uh, which if we do get that, I'll probably try to do that, um, over the, the night time. So let's go ahead and make us a really nice wrench. 
Uh, does this need to be made in here? It's only 38 seconds. But that'll be a really nice wrench. Um, so we can just have and hold. <laughs> and, and next episode, we're probably going to go out hunting cars so that um, we can have the mechanical parts to make all our cool stuff and things. Um, so yeah, that is a thing. We are definitely low on the mechanical parts. And then we can just keep this one and not have to worry about it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I probably will go back down. Probably do some cement. Get some cement going. Some concrete, I mean. Take the cement out and make concrete out of it. So, uh, yeah. Next time, we're going to go car destructinating. <laughs> so, um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to, like, uh, give me some feedback. Make a comment. Uh, like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, so you can be notified when my videos come out. They're going to come out twice a day. <laughs> Two every day. Um, I'm all, I can only do that because I'm on medical leave right now. Once I start back to work, I'm not going to be able to keep this up. Uh, so it might go down quite significantly uh, once I start back to work, which I'm not quite sure when that's going to be. Uh, at least probably another month away. So I can get a lot of videos in before then. So anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.